It's finally snowing. Hey guys, happy Saturday. This is Brenda from my Wee Bee Burns channel and we are finally having some snow. I can't believe it. Normally we do by this time of year, but today is the first day that we've experienced this much snow and it's so slushy outside. <sighs> it's really, really mucky and I hope that People will be careful when they are driving, so. Uh, and um, today I am at home, finally. I can spend some time with my hobby. And look how much my hair has been growing since I cut it. It grew like about two inches already. In when did I cut it? In July, I think. Anyways, <laughs> I am going to look for my tripod. And I want to spend some time with the dolls today. I really miss them. Okay, crap. This is my tripod. I've done a review on this thing before. And it's just a camera stand but I have like a mini so I can hold my phone I really I really enjoy this thing I'm expecting a new baby coming he is a alternative baby Halloween baby he is half human half <laughs> actually he's um I got this for him. Well, actually, this is Abigail's. But, um, I have another one somewhere. I'm not sure where I put it. This is my junk. My junk drawers of my hobby stuff. Along with other things. Um, here's a bag of ribbons. I had a Halloween. I was going to make a passy clip. And, um, I must have shoved it somewhere. Anyways, it looks a lot like this, but I bought some um, spider rings, and I put them on the edge, and I, I want to make a passy clip for him. So, that's what I want to do for him. I have my Sensi on. It's with the light. Um, I think I need to change, I want to change out the scent today, but um, I did buy him this. So, anyways, I'll tell you, he's here at the post office, but I had no time to pick him up on Friday, and so now I can't get him until Monday. Hopefully, I can get back into town on time, but um, I was trying to think of what other accessories, Halloween accessories, I can get for him, but there's not much where I live right now, so... I would have to wait until we go back to the city and then I go to thrift stores and I buy them on sale. Um, I think I bought this one when it, at Halloween, so I did pay full price for this, but I love it. I bought it for um, Abigail, actually. She is one of my Halloween alternative. She's like a ghost baby, So, but I love it. 
and Francis does too, so. But my new baby that's coming, I have a name for him. He is actually a Eddie Monster inspired baby. But instead of calling him Eddie, I want to call him Frankie. Frankie because um, the particular sculpt that I'm getting is uh, Amber by Tasha Endelum. And I do have that sculpt already. I bought her when I first came into the hobby in 2015. And she is inspired by Francis. I think she looks a lot like Francis when he was a baby. That's why I fell in love with her and I bought her. But sadly, now that time has passed, um, I guess the artist didn't seal her very well, or I'm not sure, but her paint is wearing off, especially around the hands and the diaper area, um, just from rubbing, like the clothes rubbing on her, and she's losing paint, sadly, so I was so um, disappointed about that, but when this any Monster came up, it's the same sculpt, but with any Monster-inspired look and I thought well pff, that's perfect we both love the Adams family and the monster the monsters um, we enjoy both shows very much I really really wish that I could have found a werewolf uh, stuffy for him but I couldn't we don't have any in this town I only have the choice of this guy or there was an orange guy so yeah, I can't wait. Uh, he's here at the post office. Um, I have no clothes for him either, so I hope I th I'm pretty sure that he's coming with a small wardrobe, very small. So, um, but I can't wait. I will make a passy clip out of this. I think it will be wonderful. And yes, he is inspired by Eddie Monster, and um, I will be naming him Frankie after Francis and. Frankenstein. But I think it's perfect, so I can't wait for Frankie to come. Um, I'm trying to figure out what kind of bottle, because of course he'd be drinking blood. So I need. I would love to make a blood bottle for him, but I want it kind of like a vintage. Now I do have a glass bottle, but it's kind of big. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have this big giant bottle here like um, I'm not I forget it's an ebb and flow I found this at the thrift store for 50 cents I bought two of them I could have bought more but just I have the smaller ebb and flow as well but they're the newer the newer kind so but yeah and I do have a blood bottle Yes, here it is. Still, still have it. This one. I have a smaller glass. So, I think it's... I don't know. It's a little older. But I can put a non use no hole nipple on there. So, yes, I will make them a blood bottle. I'm not sure if I want to use the little 4 ounce or the taller 8 ounce. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet which one, but anyways. So yeah, today is a gloomy day. It's snowing out. It's supposed to snow quite a lot. So our satellite is out um, because of the wet, heavy snow. <sighs> That's the only bad thing about having a satellite. An old satellite, that is. Um, so I'll put down some movies and spend some time with the dolls. I'd love to change out Jerrica. She is, I'll show you. Jerrica is in this beautiful um, sleeper. It's a, like a, I forget what color they call this. A light blue. Well, it is a light blue, but on camera it looks different. With pink trim. But she's so, so cute. <laughs> it's like, what? But, yeah, anyways, I think I'd like to put another baby in there now. She's been in there for a couple of weeks now, so. I mean, I love her, of course, but it's time to put a new baby in, in the car seat. It's just a car seat. 
so it covered up with a bunch of things. But yeah, and then in this basket, I am um, there's Avery in here. Oh, and she is also in her sleeper as um little mouse on there. But yeah, she's been in this basket for a while now, so I think I'd like to put another baby in here and see how they are. My growing collection of bottles. I love them all. I don't know why. Why do I love fake bottles so much? Like, even just this. I just love holding it. I love the sound of it. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways guys I shall go for now um, I have a few things and I am sadly suffering from my migraines again they're coming back bad so I'm not sure if it's the air where I work see I work in a different community and they have gravel everywhere and I know I'm allergic to dust I'm allergic, I'm allergic to so many things um, so this is actually from the, um, clinic, the, the allergy clinic. I'm allergic to so many things, but thankfully none of them are food. <laughs> but these things, different trees, and the number of ticks is how severe they are. Five being the highest tick. Uh, see? And the top two are dust mites. Those mites are dust mites. There's two different kinds of dust mites, I guess. I'm highly allergic to everything dust. So, yeah. I uh, I should vacuum again, by the way. Um, thinking of dust. But where I work, everything is... They have no pavement... Um, everything is dust. They, even in the school where I work, um, there's a lot of dusty, like, dirt, dirt. Um, it may not always be from dust mites. It might just be from the air, the, all the dust and the gravel, and I don't know what's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I don't know if it's the lighting or the air. But whatever it is, my migraines are back with a vengeance. And I might have to go back on my migraine medication, which I don't really like to because I noticed that um, I have, I get hair loss from it. Like I know, I know I need to, like I don't know, I know some hair, like, I don't know. I know I shouldn't complain about that because I know I overall, I do have a lot of hair, <laughs> so I shouldn't really complain about that. My hair is not thin at all, it's very thick and it grows pretty fast, so I shouldn't complain, right? But it's true though, when I'm on the migraine medication, it does work, but it makes me feel foggy minded, cloudy, like cloudy, I can't think properly, well I can, I can think, but not as detailed, it's hard to explain. I am reaching over because I want to show you, this is Emmanuel Luke, he's my bald guy he's so sweet and he is one of my heavier babies um i did not reweight him or anything he came to me this heavy and i kind of wish i knew what was in here um or how it was um he's got a long thin body he's very heavy his head well if you could see he is like if i he is super heavy. Ugh. He's really he's the heaviest 
like in his butt and in his head he's really heavy but look at the detail oh I love him Emmanuel um I bought him at a really good price because his hands are been fixed with seal sealant so they won't peel anymore but his hands there are original pieces of paint missing um, so it looks like he has like um, I forget what that skin disease is called but I still love him so and he is wearing a vintage um, sleeper that I used to have for well only my eldest wore them Mm, he smells like a real baby, too. I love it, but I'm going to spend some time with him and change him out. And sharing the basket with Emmanuel is a Kimmy, and she is my cuddle baby. She's also bald. Let's see. Okay, i got to fix her arms because she is a cuddle baby. Her mitts fell off. So, but I love her. She has has pierced ears and I named her Akimi because to me she looks a little a, slightly Asian, I guess. Oh, she's so relaxing to look at. She's a real born Owen kit, Owen asleep, I think. But yeah, she is. This is all cuddle baby, and her head is really heavy too. But despite the fact that she's bald, I love, I love, love, love her. So she is my cuddle baby. And with her being bald, it's perfect anyway because I have nothing to worry about. So she is so cute. She has nothing to worry about. Just pure cuddle. Pure cuddles. Mm. She's so sweet. And totally. Totally cuddle. Cuddle. Oh. She's so peaceful. Oh, I love this hobby so much. Actually, it's helping my migraines. My migraines feel not as pounding it's the pain is still there but it's not pounding anymore oh, she's so peaceful I, I I'm trying to look if she is rooted she doesn't even have rooted eyelashes and yeah actually she doesn't need any that paint or hmm looks very good I don't know what you can see on camera but it must be paint huh yeah it's not so no I love her I didn't give her a middle name I just thought a Kimmy was Perfect. Or did I give her middle name? I should check. Uh, so names, guys, I am going to go for now. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. And, um, uh, yeah, I need to rest. Um, I should take some sort of medication before it gets worse. I, I hate that. I get a headache and I think, okay, maybe I'll just, it'll die out and never dies out so I should take a, something before it gets worse um hey Kimmy and I wish you a wonderful wonderful day <laughs> she is so cute um we wish you a wonderful day um yeah no matter if it's cloudy or rainy or snowy where you are Hope that you're having a relaxful, peaceful Sunday. And yeah, or Sunday. <laughs>
Saturday. Hope I am seeing with my headache or kind of, I need something. So anyways guys, take care. Love you. Thank you for being here. Bye. Matcha guys. Bye. Till next time. Love you. Bye.